Russia's airstrikes on Ukraine Monday have killed at least 19 people, prompting an emergency virtual meeting between the leaders of the world's wealthiest nations, the G7, on Tuesday and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. We also have a detailed statement from the Group of Seven, in particular, that all those responsible for terror against Ukraine will be brought to justice, starting with the current political leadership of Russia and ending with everyone who serves these terrorist interests. G7 leaders coordinated efforts to provide Ukraine with economic, security and humanitarian assistance, said White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre. President Biden has also discussed with G7 partners what more we can do together to prioritize air defense capabilities for Ukraine, which has been and will continue to be a U.S. priority. Moscow, which has been partially mobilizing its population, said that more Western military aid for Ukraine means further escalation and a possible clash between Russia and NATO. But observers say air defense systems are necessary not only to protect civilians, but to create a sense of normalcy in Ukraine. To eventually try and get some of the Ukrainians who have fled since Russia's invasion to return. And the aim here for President Zelensky is to restart Ukraine's economy, which has taken a massive blow since Russia's invasion. The U.S. has committed more than $16 billion in security assistance for Ukraine since Russia's invasion in February. So the U.S. and our partners have given Ukraine some air defense systems, but nothing uh, on a big uh, strategic level like the Patriot missile defense system, for example. The White House would not confirm whether it's considering providing the Patriot missile defense system, which can counter tactical ballistic missiles, cruise missiles and advanced aircraft. We plan to continue to provide air defense systems to Ukraine, um, and when there's something to announce in that regard, we'll, we'll do that, as we have for the last eight months. Weapons and other security aid will be discussed at the Ukraine Security Consultative Group meeting in Brussels on Wednesday. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News, Washington.